Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week six of Palace's Autumn 2023 collection. Now, before I start covering week six, guys, I've got to cover the fantastic support that you guys gave me over the weekend and towards the end of August and the start of September. What has happened? Well, in my past couple of uploads, I asked you guys if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,700. We were less than five subscribers away by the end of August, and as it naturally does, in early September, it ticked over to 3,700. So I wanted to take a moment out of this drop list video today to thank both the public and private subscribers for helping the channel reach 3,700. It's awesome to see us tick over a new hundred in subscribers. Like it's, it, that's always nice. So 3,700 we've started. Thanks to you guys. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it without your continuous support. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 4K. I'm, I'm, I'm super hyped about that, but uh, obviously that's still 300 away. That's still quite a distance away. And uh, the next milestone that I'm gonna set is not 4,000 subs, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for the continuous support. Thank you for 3,700. And in typical, I guess, uh, this channel's fashion, I suppose, We've got to update a little milestone over here because we updated every 25 subscribers. So goodbye to 3,675. Hello to 3,700. Awesome stuff. <laughs> I'll chuck it over here. We'll place that one just there. And hopefully you guys can see 3,700 there. It is there until we reach 3,725 subs. So hopefully that'll be coming sometime soon. But thank you for 3,700. Let's see if we can hit 3,705 before the end of September. Now we can start moving into week six. So yes, guys, it's that time of the week again to cover the latest weekly drop of Palace's latest season. And as mentioned in that intro, we have the sixth week to cover of their autumn 2023 season. How are we gonna cover all the release details, individual pieces, and my thoughts on the week? As we always do, we will be using the Max Merch More Instagram post. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for week six. So here we are at the drop list for week six, guys. We're here so early, there's not even a comment on it yet. And it was only posted four hours ago. So we're we're very, very early on this one. <laughs> um, we'll get into these release details. So week six, autumn 23, all items are expected to release Friday, September 8th, which if it's Wednesday the 6th, Thursday the 7th, Friday the 8th, that checks out. 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the UK and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US, as Instagram has picked up there. Um, let me know down in the comments section below what kind of items you are feeling for this week, but that is the release details for most of the world. We've also got to cover the release in Japan and China. Japan gets it on the Saturday. They will get, be getting it Saturday the 9th. Uh, they will get it in store and online. China gets it on the same day, 9th of September, but they get it 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time on the WeChat store. Uh, if you guys have any further questions on when and where it's dropping for your region or where to pick it up from, comment section below and I'll try and help you out with any questions that you have that you want to put down there. But now that we've covered all the regions where it's all releasing, we've got to get into the individual pieces. Let's dive right in and start checking out this first page of week six. To start off the first page, we have the Liquid Palace hoodie. Uh, this hoodie comes in some very, very basic colors. We have a blue, pink, green, black, and a gray. It has a simple little palace logo on the chest there. 
I'm assuming that because it's called the Liquid Palace hoodie, the actual palace logo is meant to look like a liquid or has some kind of texture to it that makes it feel or look like a liquid. Either all, I actually like the palace logo and how it's done in such a, um, like a, like a, I, I like its typography. I like its font. I, I like how it looks there. And I like the color choices that they've done for all the hoodies there. I think this is just a nice palace hoodie with a nice bit of branding on the chest there. I can't complain about that. Next, we have the Palace Avrex Zip Hoodie coming in a light blue, a gray, and a black. Uh, I mean, I feel like if you're going for that early 2000s aesthetic, I feel like this is a hoodie that definitely ticks all the boxes that you want. But I would much rather just the leather jacket that released this season, or even the knit that released this season. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I can't go too much on the zip-up hoodie. I think there are other better zip-up hoodies out there. Moving on down, we have the arms t-shirt with a bunch of arms holding each other at the elbow. We've got it coming in a white, a blue, a gray, a purple, a like light orange, a black. Uh, it, it's a pretty haunting graphic in all reality. It's uh, uh, three arms that are holding each other at the elbows that look like they've all been cut off like different bodies. We've got palace like cut into these arms and then an eyeball in the middle of it. Um, it definitely aligns with definitely something a skater brand would release. So fair enough. Uh, not a graphic tee that I'd be super into these days. I kind of just grab or gravitate towards to just like basic tees or like, you know, like my recent merch pickup, like merch tees that are in black and white. Graphic tees these days don't really do too much for me, but um, just thought I'd mention that there. That is releasing as well. And then our last piece on page one, we have the Shocking Behavior t-shirt in like a woodland camo. Uh, yeah, I lose the graphic in the camo. I'm sure in the second page, there's going to be like, just single colored ones, which will probably look a lot better, but there's just too much going on here where I kind of lose it. So definitely not a piece that I'm too keen on. Uh, I'd say my favorite piece on page one for week six is gonna go to that Liquid Palace uh, hoodie. I think that one was quite nice. Uh, now that we've checked out page one, let's go check out page two. As I expected, page two has a lot nicer colors of the shocking behavior t-shirt. We have it coming in a gray, a navy, a white, a black. Um, we then have the Palace Avrex t-shirt. I think the t-shirt looks a lot nicer than the zip up hoodie we got. It's coming in a black, white, light blue, and a gray. I think the best colors are the black or the white there. We've then got the scratchy t-shirt, which has the uh, palace logo spelt out in blood with four claws coming through it and a blood trail behind each claw. I think this is a nice graphic t-shirt. Uh, it does come in some very interesting color options though, like light purple, light orange, blue. But then I think just like the basic colors of gray, black, and white are where you really wanna go for that kind of t-shirt. Next, we have the very sexy t-shirt finishing it off where it's palace meets couture very sexy very london um i feel like that's kind of fun kind of goofy but it's only going to make sense to someone who also knows what palace is and the weird descriptions that they do that this would be the type of thing that they would do outside of like the palace community it's going to be like what <laughs> which is fine like you know you don't have to cater for everyone wear what you want but I just thought I'd make that comment just in case you were thinking of buying it and everyone getting the joke and everything like that. But uh, yeah, look, some solid graphic tee options uh, coming on page two. Um, I'd probably go with the scratchy t-shirt and the black or the white, in all honesty. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking of the Avrex t-shirt, but ah, yeah, the, um, the scratchy t-shirt. I think that that's where it's at on page two. Page three, we have more of the very sexy t-shirt making a reappearance. Comes in a navy, comes in a gray, comes in a black. Uh, that's that's whatever. We've got the Palace Avrex jogger coming in a black, light blue, and gray. This is to match the zip up hoodie. I feel like having the full sweatsuit would definitely create that like early 2000s look, but Again, I wouldn't jump on this because I just don't wear pants without belt loops too much these days. Like, I, I just love my belts. I love wearing pants with belt loops. 
it's just not my thing. And then we've uh, got a collaborative beanie as well. Uh, yeah, these are okay. I think I'd have to say then my favorite piece on page three is gonna go to the, uh, the very sexy t-shirt in the black. Last but not least, and I say that because, you know, there's no icon to show that there's another page. We have page four. Uh, to start it off with, we have the Scorpion Pal hat coming in a black. Uh, the tail obviously curling to make the P and then the rest of the palace logo there. I think that's a smart way of handling it. I think it's a fun way of doing it. If you know, you'll know. Uh, yeah, I think the black's quite nice. We've got the PRX Trucker coming in a black. This is kind of fun. It's kind of covered in like very large Japanese logo or Japanese inspired logos or Asian inspired logos with the racer um, that we saw at the start of the season. I feel like if you just want um, the combination between palace and racing merch, you've got it right here. It's not for me, but I could definitely see people getting around something like this. We've got the collaborative beanie making a reappearance in the black. It's kind of like whatever. Uh, we've got the Scorpion Pal hat coming in a navy and a white. Two very, very solid color offerings there. Uh, and that is it for page four. I'd say my favorite piece on the page is actually going to go to the navy uh, Scorpion hat. I thought the black initially, but then I was like, nah, that navy color with the white logo, that's hitting for me. That is hitting for me. But I do really like the white as well. Like I like all the colors of that hat. That is a very nice hat. Uh, yeah, well, that is page four, guys, and also all of week six. Um, obviously, this week we have a lot of the Averex pieces uh, making a reappearance and releasing this week, and then we've got a lot of other pieces thrown in between. We've got some very solid graphic t-shirts coming out this week, and just some very nice basic hoodies as well. Um, I think there's a piece here that I think everyone will enjoy, but there won't be anything that I'll be picking up because I am saving up a little bit of cash to pick up a secondhand undercover piece that I've had my eyes on for a while. So stay tuned for that. Haven't bought it yet, still saving up the cash. <laughs> but um, hey, if you've got the cash to splash this week, guys, definitely pick up a little something here. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are gonna be picking up um, or what you're interested mainly for the first part. What are you interested in picking up? Do you like any of the pieces of week six? How do you feel about week six? I feel like it's fine. I feel like there wasn't anything that was atrocious or really ugly about it um but there wasn't anything that also got me saying i need this this is one of the best pieces ever i need it in my life so i don't know it's kind of just in the middle isn't it it's like a six out of ten if i had to rate it um but i'd love to hear how you feel about week six down in that comment section below well guys that is everything i have to say about the sixth week of palace's autumn 2023 season we covered the release details it's dropping friday september 8th or saturday the 9th if you live in japan and china we covered the individual pieces and we covered my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and the week as a whole uh i think it's fine i think appropriately a six out of ten for week six is a good rating for it uh yeah like if someone was to offer me the scorpion hat for like a good price, they're like, do you want the scorpion hat? I'd be like, yeah, why not? But I don't think I'm going to be rushing to the store on a Friday uh, evening because in Australia it drops it like late Friday uh, evening uh, to pick this hat up. And in all honesty, if I did, I feel like it wouldn't be selling out anyway. So I could pick it up further down the line. So yeah that's probably my piece that i'm most keen on this week um but i'd love to hear what you guys are going to be going for because maybe you are going to be rushing to the release of these pieces for week six what are you going to be picking up from week six let me know down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming palace weeks upcoming palace seasons upcoming palace collaborations you got to give me the three indicators i'll never shut up about <laughs> A like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best one you can give me is subscribe to the channel. Or you can tell your mates to. That's also going to work as well. If you're already subscribed, you can just tell other people to do it as well. <laughs> spread the word. Spread the word. We just hit 3,700 subscribers. That's a huge thing. Thank you guys for that continuous support. And who knows? Maybe with your continuous support, we can reach 3,705 subscribers before the end of September. 
But that's everything I got to say about week six. Uh, I'm going to see if I can cover the Supreme MF Doom collaboration before I have to start my my um, after hours shift at work. So I don't reckon I'll be able to record it in time. So we'll have to see that video might be coming a little bit later, guys. But um, keen to cover that anyway. We'll have to see how it all goes. But uh, yeah, that's everything I got to say about week six, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something from week six. And um, yeah. Hopefully uh, you can get the pieces that you're after in the size and color you're after. So until the next drop list video, until the next palace video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.